from the longest time possible since the dawn of human creation and the dawn of man the best-selling notebook all the way since i believe 2017 has been the macbook air and now there's a way more affordable variant as opposed to the pro laptops that run around three thousand dollars or two thousand dollars for the 14 inch when it first came out now of course there's more affordable options as like depreciation kicks in and the m1 depreciation is like actually happening right now where the m1 chips are being sold cheaper than the m2 chips and we shouldn't even bring up the intel chips those are horrible for me to fully explain the scope of how big the m2 chip is in terms of it coming out on the air i want to tell you guys a little bit of a story so last year i was in the market for a new laptop and i thought it was a good idea to purchase the 2019 macbook pro it still had the intel chip but it was around 900 dollars. that was like the resale market price for 900 dollars. i buy it i'm using the machine it is a steam horse like I would be on my laptop and it would get very hot. I'm not sure if it's because of the battery or what, but even browsing the web, playing a little bit of games, I play Minecraft, it gets really hot. It is literally unusable on the lap. Today, that same laptop is still going for $900. I would say it's a bad deal, right? But this laptop over here, I got it for $12.99 with the education discount. And at that time too, they were giving $150 gift card deals. So I bought this laptop for $1,100. Yes, it is the base model, but for my needs, it works because I already have a custom build PC. So I'm able to play all the games that I want, but this gets the job done. My normal routine is just coding and browsing the web in some graphic design work. Okay, but I gotta say one more thing about this, this machine. I highly recommend that if you're in a position where you have to choose between more RAM or SSD storage, pick the RAM. Pick the RAM every day of the week, every time. You won't regret it. RAM is not gonna bottleneck the M2 chip. You're gonna get full immersion in the experience that this product is gonna give you. Multitasking, very important for intense workflows, whether you're in media, whether you are in video creation, whether you're in programming, rendering, RAM is important. If you choose the 8 gig variant, although cheaper, you might see certain limitations. It can handle pro load workforces, but you will notice that it might start to slow down and jitter up. Once you check the activity monitor, which is responsible for telling you a diagnostic on how your computer is running, you're going to start to see that although the CPU isn't being used very much, the RAM is yellow. It's starting to peak. So pick the RAM every day of the week. Okay. I believe it's I have a screen recorder, I'm gonna pop it up right now. I believe it just raises the price over $200. So you would probably be at six, 1,600 after taxes. And come on guys, you gotta admit, it's about time that the camera on the laptops got an update. So right now, we're not rocking 720p FaceTime cameras anymore. It's now 1080p. And that is a big deal for me at least because i do a lot of zoom calls and i do a lot of, i facetime a lot i'm like a facetime kind of guy if you call me you know like i'm gonna facetime you back so that is like a huge deal for me and here is a live example of what it would look like this is me at starbucks the other day just do getting some work in and here you go if you see me change clothes in this video it just means that it's been more than one day. I've recorded, I've been recording this video in the process of over like three to four days just to make sure I have the specifications needed and to also make sure that I give you guys the best quality content possible for me to create. All right, one thing I almost forgot to mention, I almost published this video, I was just editing. One thing I forgot to mention is I never heard the fan on this thing kick on. Don't quote me on it. I don't believe it has a fan because I was doing research and they said it doesn't have a fan, but it does a really great job at keeping cool. With the MacBook Air, it literally stays cool to the touch pretty consistently. I take it to bed all the time. I'm like finishing up my work from my monitors. I unplug from my setup. I go to bed and I could work for hours on end and it stays comfortably cool. Like it doesn't get hot. It doesn't even have a fan. It really doesn't need a fan. 
because the M2 chip optimizes for efficiency. The superiority that Apple has over thermoregulation from the performance and efficiency power ratio is due to the M2's chip's ability to have over 20 billion neural engines, which is equations and calculations happening per second. The M2 chip is 23% faster than M1 which makes a big difference i know people record like has done experiments where they compare the m1 and m2 macbook air side by side now i have to talk about the screen although it's 60 hertz instead of the 120 pros it is beautiful the liquid retina the liquid retina display is really beautiful the colors are very vivid and i have a great time browsing what could i say the colors pop it is let me check the nits yeah, the MacBook Air 15 inch goes up to 500 nits brightness, but the screen is very beautiful. I enjoy reading on it, reading manga, I enjoy watching movies. The portability on this machine is simply insane. Last week, I went on a trip to Orlando. It was a camp trip by a lake. It really shined when it came time to take it out, whether I was at the beach, whether I was inside where I was in the cabin, I didn't need to charge it. Like I was able to use it. I was using the hotspot on my phone and it was awesome. Right now I'm gonna show the pictures. I was doing Zoom classes while I was at the beach on it and it was pretty fun. It is a very portable machine. And the size of it, the fact that it is 15 inches, feels really great in the hand. Like the balance doesn't feel off as opposed to maybe the 14 inch Pro where it's slightly bulkier and shorter but it is still a power horse though. The 15 is all, like it is slimmer and it feels nicer on the hands. It, the weight distribution feels really great. So it feels comfortable to hold. You don't have the feeling that it might fall or slip out of your hand. Now, I started this video off saying that the MacBook Air 15 inch might just be the MacBook Pro killer, whether it's the overall sales or if it's the overall durability of the product, the life cycle of the product as Apple loves to say it because the product is one thing to the buyer, the product is one thing to the seller, and the product is one thing to the student. So the longevity of this product is what's really gonna determine whether the MacBook Air 15 inch truly is a Pro killer. Cue the music. I'd say it is though. I definitely say it is. Like I've said before, it is a pleasure. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. And I'd appreciate it if you leave a like and subscribe. If you want more videos like this, comment down below. Especially if you found value in this video, leave a comment. Let me know what you're thinking. Let me know if you did buy it. Let me know how it's treating you. And I gotta get back to work, but I'll see you guys in the next video. You should probably click this video right here if you want to know more about the process of getting into VR or using a virtual reality headset, then that's the video for you. And see you over there.